Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can flash the MicroPython firmware inside the Xiao ESP32C3 board. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to see how we can flash the factory firmware inside this board. So we can program this board using Arduino IDE. So we will navigate to our website. Okay. You can see the steps. We have to press boot button and then we have to plug our device into our system okay so let me disconnect my device and uh, okay i have disconnected my device i am pressing boot button and then i am inserting my device okay so now my device is in boot mode after that we have to uh, download one software from this page so we will click on this link Okay, here we have to download ESP RF test tool and test guide. So I'll click on download to start the download. Okay, so here is our download started. So let me copy this file into my desktop and we will unzip this file here. Okay, now after downloading this file, we have to extract it and we have to go to this folder and then we have to find this exe file. Okay, so we will open this folder here. We will go inside. So here is our file which we have to use to flash the factory firmware inside this Xiao ESP32C3 port. Okay, so we will double click on this file to start it. So it will take some time to start this file. So you don't have to worry about it. And once this file is started, we have to download one factory firmware for this board. So we will click on this one and it will, it will download one file. So we will copy this file also in our desktop. Now we have to wait until this software starts. Okay, so software is started. Now our chip type is ESP32C3. Our COM port is COM13. Okay, so if you click on, right click on start menu and go to device manager. Here you will see COM port. Okay, so our device is connected to COM13 with my system. So that is why we have to use COM13 here. We have to change the baud rate and we have to open our serial port. So you can see open COM13 success. Now we want to flash the factory firmware. So we have to cl click here on flash and then we have to select the binary file or we can say firmware file. So I'll click select bin and then I'll navigate to desktop and here is my bin file. So I will click this. Okay, it is loaded now. Now we can press load bin to load the factory firmware inside this ESP Xiao C3 board. Okay, now we will press load bin. So it will start loading the flash into the board and it got success. Now we can program this board using Arduino IDE. So I'll open my Arduino IDE here. I have already created the code. So here I am going to select my port number and my board is Xiao S I A O Xiao ESP32C3. I'll press OK here and then I'll upload the code. And before uploading, let me close this COM port here and we will close this software. So our code will compile and it will upload to our board. Okay, so our Blink sketch is uploading to our Xiao ESP32C3 board. Okay, so as you can see, done uploading. Now we have to press reset button to make it work. So let me press this reset button here. Okay, my camera got stuck just a minute. Let me reset my camera. Okay, now we have to press this reset button. Okay, so once I press this reset button, the LED will start blinking. Okay, so as you can see, our LED is blinking once we have pressed the reset button. 
Okay, so this is how you can flash the factory firmware inside the Seed Studio Shao ESP32 C3 board. Okay, you can navigate to my website and you can follow the steps to flash the firmware. And if you have any question or any concern, then you can ask me on the Telegram, Instagram and WhatsApp. So we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye and thank you.